Oh, hi there. I'm glad you're here. I'm having some trouble with my pets. Can you help me? Meet Rufus and Ginger. Rufus keeps stealing Ginger's treats. Last week, Ginger only got three treats and Rufus got 12. Bad dog, Rufus. I'm wondering, after stealing, how many more treats did Rufus have? Let's take a look. Ginger had three treats. Rufus had 12. Let's break Rufus's treats into groups of three, like Ginger's, to compare them. One group of three, two groups of three, three groups of three, four groups of three. Look, Rufus had four times as many treats as Ginger because he had four groups of three. Okay, so we figured that one out. Well, yesterday, Ginger decided to retaliate and she stole some of Rufus's toys to play with. Rufus had two toys. Ginger had three times as many toys. How many toys did Ginger have altogether? This time, I'm going to use a picture and an equation to help me figure this out. Rufus had two toys and Ginger had three times as many toys. I can solve this equation to see that Ginger had six toys. Let's make sure that makes sense with the picture. Rufus had two toys. Ginger had three times as many. One times, two times, three times. Let's count by twos. Two, four, six. Oh yes, Ginger had six toys. Thanks for helping me figure out my pet problems. You can use multiplicative comparisons to help figure out problems too. Remember, there are a few ways to use multiplicative comparisons. First, you can use a visual, like with the treats. You can draw or see how many times more of one group you have than another. Next, you can use an equation, like with the toys. You can express how many times more you have of one group than another. Finally, you can use words. You can say things like, Rufus is two times as old as Ginger, or Ginger has three times as many toys as Rufus. Pay attention to phrases like times as many, times as large, or times more. They show you that you're comparing two things. Rufus and Ginger wish you good luck as you solve problems about multiplicative comparisons.